the Australian M130AS4 optionally crewed combat vehicle, the OCCV, represents a bold leap in the Australian Army's pursuit of autonomous military technology, transforming a Vietnam-era platform into a versatile, future-ready system. Built upon the M130AS4 armored personnel carrier, a tracked vehicle capable of carrying up to 12 personnel with enhanced protection against small arms and mines, the OCCV integrates cutting-edge autonomy and remote operation capabilities. Since its inception in 2019, the project has leveraged the M113's proven reliability, 430 units of which were upgraded to AS4 standards between 2007 and 2012 to test innovative technologies like BAE Systems Vehicle Management System and Electro-Optical Systems Remote Weapon Systems. This initiative aligns with Australia's broader robotic and autonomous systems strategy, launched in 2018, which seeks to reduce soldier exposure to combat risks while enhancing operational flexibility. By retrofitting a familiar platform, the Australian Army has created a low-risk environment to experiment with autonomous systems, paving the way for next-generation vehicles under programs like Land 400. The OCCV's development reflects Australia's strategic need to maintain a technological edge in the Indo-Pacific, a region increasingly defined by rapid military modernization and geopolitical competition. The OCCV program has made significant strides since its launch. In 2019, BAE Systems Australia converted two M113AS4s into autonomous demonstrators, equipping them with systems for manual teleoperated and fully autonomous operations, including waypoint navigation and follow the leader functionality. A $7.7 .7 million contract in 2020 expanded the effort, converting 16 additional vehicles, resulting in a fleet of 20 OCCVs by 2021. These conversions, conducted in South Australia and regional Victoria, bolstered local industry and showcased Australia's defence manufacturing capabilities. The OCCVs underwent rigorous testing, including a notable deployment during Exercise Coolandong in 2021, a live fire exercise in the Northern Territory that demonstrated their resilience in harsh combat environments. By 2023, soldier training on OCCVs highlighted their ability to navigate challenging terrain and engage targets autonomously via integrated remote-controlled weapon. In 2024, collaboration with the Trusted Autonomous Systems Defense Cooperative Research Center culminated in a four-year AI research program, advancing uncrewed ground vehicle capabilities. These milestones underscore the program's success in integrating autonomy into operational contexts, positioning the OCCV as a testbed for future innovations. The M113AS4 OCCV serves a multifaceted role in the Australian Army's evolving doctrine. Primarily, it functions as a combat and reconnaissance platform, leveraging its remote-controlled weapon to engage threats autonomously or remotely thereby enhancing battlefield awareness while minimizing risks to personnel. Beyond combat, the OCCV supports logistics by transporting supplies in high-risk zones, offering a versatile solution for resupply missions. Its role as an experimental platform is equally critical, allowing the Army to explore how autonomous systems can integrate into multi-domain operations and inform future acquisition strategies. The OCCV's purpose is to bridge the gap between legacy systems and next-generation technologies, enabling faster, safer responses in accelerated warfare scenarios. Additionally, its potential in humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, performing tasks in hazardous conditions, extends its utility beyond traditional combat roles. By simplifying complex operations and reducing human exposure to danger, the OCCV enhances the Australian Defence Force's operational flexibility and readiness. Looking ahead, the Australian Army plans to deepen its investment in the OCCV program, using the fleet as a testing ground for advanced AI, sensor integration, and interoperability with allied systems. BA Systems will provide ongoing upgrades, refining autonomous capabilities to meet the demands of future battle spaces. Insights from the OCCV program 
will feed into the development of new uncrewed ground vehicles and infantry fighting vehicles under the Land 400 project, which aims to replace the aging M113 fleet by 2030. The Army has acknowledged that the M113AS4 platform is unsuitable for high-intensity conflicts beyond 2025, signaling a strategic shift toward more advanced systems. International collaboration, particularly through the AUKUS partnership and exercises like Project Convergence, will further enhance the OCCV's technological framework, fostering interoperability with allies like the United States. The program's innovations may also yield exportable technologies, strengthening Australia's defence industry and global market presence. However, the transition to next-generation platforms will require careful planning to maintain operational continuity and address cultural resistance to rapid technological adoption within the ADF. The implications of the M130AS4 OCCV extend far beyond Australia's borders, shaping both national and regional security dynamics. Domestically, the program drives military modernization, aligning with the 2024 National Defence Strategy's emphasis on autonomous systems to counter emerging threats. It enhances the ADF's deterrence capabilities in the Indo-Pacific, where great power competition is intensifying. Economically, the project has created jobs and bolstered local defence firms, with conversions supporting communities in South Australia and Victoria. Partnerships with academia and the TAS Defence Cooperative Research Centre have also spurred research, positioning Australia as a hub for autonomous systems innovation. Regionally, the OCCV program establishes Australia as a technological leader, potentially inspiring allies like Japan and South Korea to accelerate their own UGV programs. Its integration into multinational exercises enhances interoperability, strengthening security frameworks like AUKUS. However, the program's advancements could escalate regional tensions, prompting competitors like China to prioritize similar technologies, potentially fueling an arms race. Australia's gifting of 56 M100 AS4s to Ukraine between 2022 and 2023 demonstrates its commitment to global security, enhancing its diplomatic influence. Nevertheless, challenges remain, including the M113 platform's obsolescence, ethical concerns surrounding autonomous weapons, and the need for transparent arms control measures to mitigate regional instability. In conclusion, the M13 AS4 OCCV program marks a pivotal moment in Australia's military evolution, blending legacy systems with state-of-the-art autonomy to enhance operational effectiveness and safety. Its progress, from initial conversions to advanced AI integration, demonstrates the ADF's commitment to innovation, while its multifaceted roles underscore its versatility. As the program informs future platforms and strengthens Australia's defence industry, it also reshapes regional security dynamics, positioning Australia as a key player in the Indo-Pacific. However, navigating ethical, operational and geopolitical challenges will be critical to maximising the OCCV's potential.